So what's up guys, Fabio here and welcome to Shades of Tech. How many times in your life did you share some beautiful photos, record a video session, add some important work files on your USB or more importantly film your son's birthday or family times and then accidentally deleted all the photos, the files, the videos by mistake or they just disappear because the memory support erases itself. Well, I don't know you, but for me, the answer is too many. Of course, there are some ways to prevent this fatality to happen, like using time machine to back up all your data every once in a while, but let's face the truth, it's not that perfect, we all know that, because you could lose your file before backing up, and let's be honest, if you have a MacBook Pro like I do, you can't go around the world with your adapter dangle plus an hard drive hanging around. That's just not acceptable. So, what if I told you there is a simple solution? A way to recover all your files in a really simple way and without any effort. It's called Stellar Phoenix Data Recovery for Mac OS i Sierra. And in my opinion, it's really a lifesaver and the best program you can buy to do that. Thanks to Stellar Phoenix, I had the chance to test it out for some times. And I must say I've been impressed. It has great potential. It can do pretty much everything from restoring deleted files on your Macs to recover the data of your hard drive after logic error and even recover deleted Time Machine backups. This program is compatible with all the latest macOS versions and also available for Windows and it was chosen by PCMag.com as the obvious choice for data recovery. For more information and installation guys, I leave the link in the description to the official website and YouTube channel. The killer features I prefer are the ability to recover everything, text, photo, video, from any type of support, internal and external, and in any file system format. And more importantly, the new simple and intuitive interface which hides all the machine works and makes the process really simple and neat. But enough with the talking, let's see it in action. To show you how it works, I prepared two situations which actually happened to me and in my opinion could be really common to you guys. The first, accidentally deleted files from my last shooting, including photos and 4K videos in a large number of files and relatively small sizes. So I selected 9 videos and 1 picture and deleted them by mistake and then I accidentally emptied the trash. So I opened Stellar Phoenix, selected videos and photos, then I choose the device where I deleted the photos and the videos. If you want you can make a deep scan, it will take longer but it will be much more precise and will be able to find more files, so it's always advised. As you can see the process is pretty easy, the scan, it found 15 gigs of recoverable files. So I went in the folder where the files were and they were there, obviously cancelled, but you can see the sizes and the names of each file and you can select individually which one to recover. You can also preview them if they are smaller than 100 megabytes and then you have to choose the device where you want to recover them. As you can see the process is also pretty fast and the files are coming back from the death and I tested some of them and they work perfectly so, so it completed the work perfectly. Situation number 2 accidentally deleted finished project exported with Final Cut Pro 10 in 4K only one file but several gigs of size. So again I moved it to the trash and then emptied the trash. This time I selected only videos, again my SD card, and this time the process took again the same time and the file was there, so I could recover it without any effort and then select the folder where I wanted it to be just finishing 
and then I opened it, it was long 7 minutes and it worked without any problem, so well done. Of course if you want you can recover also from your Mac hard drive, but you have to make these steps before. Press Command R, open the terminal and then write some lines of code. Let's talk about one more thing. As I told you before, you have to buy this program since it's not free. But before I tell you how much does it cost, let me ask you a question. Which is the price and the value you will give to your family photos, your work of an entire day, some important documents? Well, I believe the correct answer is they are priceless. Well, the program costs 99 dollars or 99 euros in Europe, but right now it has a discount of 10 dollars. And honestly, I don't know if it's high or low, and I'm not saying that this is a program everybody should have, but I believe that if you are in one of the situations we discussed before, it's really a lifesaver and you should consider at least to spend that money to have your problem fixed without any effort. When I lose hours of footage I get really angry and really frustrated and then I have to do everything again, I have to shoot everything from the start, so it's a really huge waste of time. So thanks so much for watching, if you like this video go very iPhone 10 on the subscribe button and tell me in the comment section below which are the files you lost forever. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!